Hi, I'm Sharon Bridgeforth, and I'm here today to give an update on the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady Home Project. I am deeply grateful to say that in 2016, Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady Home received support from Creative Capital. And since that time, the project has swirled and become itself. And um, to see some of my earlier ideas about what the project would be, you can view some of the videos on this site linked below. But um, what I'll say in terms of the update is I'm proud to say that thanks to support and partnership with the Powderhorn Park Neighborhood Association in Minneapolis, and the City of Lakes Community Land Trust in Minneapolis and our Minneapolis-based uh, project coordinator, Molly Van Avery, we have moved deeply into the home project work. We have a cohort of six emerging artists. They're intergenerational, multidisciplined, fierce, fierce, fierce people of color doing um, work that is for and in community and also really expansive in their visioning and uh, manifestation of their own art forms. And we were really fortunate to have um, the Powderhorn Park Neighborhood Association as our home base. So our meetings were there and they helped us put the call for the cohort art out and to you know uh, manage and that process. And the uh, City of Lakes Community Land Trust created a curriculum that was specifically for the cohort. And the curriculum basically was about giving information and resources to the cohort about how to get on the road to get on the road to purchasing home. <laughs> and for any of you that have been through that and been through processes around um, financial wellness, you know that it is a deeply emotional process. And a lot of times what we are doing is navigating lineages of um, experiences around money, around home, uh, around land, and around genocide, you know? So it's a deep, deep thing. Um, and uh, the land trust went in lovingly and joyfully and with a lot of um, beautiful detail. And so in May of 2018, when the Dat Black Mermaid Man Lady show, there's a link for that below, was premiering at, uh, well, we were actually in rehearsal at Pillsbury House Theater for its premiere, which happened in June, um, uh, we met. And so I had um, group meetings with the cohort, some one-on-ones, and then they met with the Land Trust and with the Powderhorn Park Neighborhood Association. The uh, Land Trust has completed its group sessions with the cohort, and now cohort members are having one-on-one -on -one sessions. And also, they have an open invitation uh, from the Land Trust to attend workshops and to stay in conversation as they get on the road to preparing uh, to purchase a home. And the work that the Land Trust did was uh, around providing information for um, home buying processes through both traditional lending methods and through the Land Trust. So it's been interesting. I've learned a lot. Um, uh, and in this process, one of the things that became clear to me early on was um, my desire to serve as a mentor to the cohort um, needed to shift. So at first I was thinking that I would um, work with them on creating work. And what I found quickly with this cohort is they're already making work. They're making so much work, they ain't got time to make extra work. And so that wasn't what would best serve the group. So uh, in the spirit of Bruce Lee, who says, be like water, baby, and my mentor, Lori Carlos, who said, everything's already always in the room, um, I was able to respond to the what was, and I shifted my focus and really um, shifted to a place of something more personal uh, around my own experiences of growing and I'm still growing in being financially fit and free 
of seeking um, the road to home purchasing for myself uh, and to, you know, in terms of uh, experiences around touring and how to really, really articulate to oneself what it is that you most want to do in the world as an artist instead of doing the things that you can do because you can do them uh, and hustling blindly. <laughs> so um, I am now back home in Los Angeles. I was there for the month of May. Um, I'll return to Minneapolis um, at the end of June to see um, the last two um, shows for the uh, That Black Mermaid Man Lady the show at Pillsbury House Theater. And then I'll return again in October. And in October, um, we'll come together as a group and we'll stay in touch virtually uh, until then. And we'll check back in. Um, one of the things that's clear to all of us is getting on the road to getting on the road for most of us is a very long process. Um, it's deeply emotional. Part of the process is releasing, surrendering, uh, shifting and transforming. And then some of it is just the technicalities of um, receiving the right information to know how to best um, prepare. Um, so in addition to just really hardcore budgeting, which for people like me that are self-employed and don't always know when the money's landing, like that is really freaking hard. Uh, and many of the artists are also self, the cohort members are also self-employed artists. Um, and, you know, um, things like just imagining wildly what kind of home it is that we really want and what the best way to seek that out is. For some people, it's cooperative living and perhaps the neither the land trust or the uh, traditional lending uh, route is the way. Maybe there's some new way or some old thing that we have to rediscover and put in place. Um, for some people, it's a matter of, you know, um, addressing um, debt and, uh, you know, credit scores and, you know, lifting those up and shifting them and, and elevating them. Uh, for some of us, it's saving money. And, and just basically, it's just um, a longer road than I thought. And what's interesting is just like everything else connected to these mermaid projects, of which there are many, and there are links below if you want to check out the different um, ways that it's flowing. But um, really everything is involved in all aspects of the That Black Mermaid Man Lady is coming from the deepest place inside of myself. And so my own discoveries and lessons show up as learnings for me as I move forward offering things. And so that's like, to me, feels very much in alignment with what's right and real and good. Um, Cause I hope to always be learning and growing and um, in a place of being able to hear what wants to happen and to respond in a right now way. Um, and so one of the things that really was under the surface of the whole thing and every aspect of all the mermaid projects was my own, I will say, inherited desire for home uh, coming from uh, people that were part of the Great Migration, people who left the South and came West uh, in determination with fierceness to create better lives for themselves and their families. Um, the idea of home as safety, home as security, home as something that helps elevate future generations, home as a place where community is made, where there is dancing and singing and praying and laughing and dreaming um, is a part of my soul. And so being a self-employed artist since 1998, I haven't dared, <laughs> I hadn't dared to dream of having my own home until this project started brewing. And um, initially it was easier for me to imagine helping emerging artists 
to acquire a home because I could see in retrospect what I could have done that would have positioned me better now than I could imagine what was possible for me now. Um, and then um, in 2016, I received the Doris Duke Performing Artist Award and everything changed. And so my wife and I, uh, Omi Oshun, Joni L. Jones, um, we are on the road to being on the road to purchasing our own home. We thought we would have been able to do it sooner. Um, and, you know, it just didn't happen like that. Um, so we, our goal, our new goal is by December of 2018. Um, but being on the road to being on the road has been powerful. Uh, we've become much more financially free. Uh, we're able to um, budget and talk about money with joy and lightness as opposed to anxiety and uh, bickering, <laughs> uh, which was how we first approached it. Uh, and uh, we're able to dream bigger now. And um, so, you know, we'll all see what the mermaids have in store for us. I'll keep you in touch. I thank all of you that have been supporting us in so many ways for so long. Um, and I am just grateful. Praise the ancestors and bless all the mermaids everywhere. Bye-bye. <laughs>